Kaisho! This is Yulene and welcome to a special weekly English practice from English Coaching Projects. All the way from Glasgow City. I'll be talking about my life in Glasgow as a filmmaker and the projects I'm working on. I'll also be answering questions about my life in Scotland and how the past six years of my life in Scotland have changed me as a person and as a filmmaker. Thank you so much for having me this week and I hope that you like my episode. Filmmaking has been my passion since I was very young. Um, I, ha- I have just started realising that I always liked this kind of industry and now that I'm in it, um, it's magical. And if you want to go and be a filmmaker, take a camera, take your iPhone, take um, a microphone and start recording just anything that you want. And I hope you have a very, very, very nice week. How did the Basque Bosnian Geordie girl end up in Glasgow? I ended up in Glasgow six years ago as I wanted to study computer animation. I, I checked all my possibilities of where I could study and my best option was to go to Scotland. At the same time, I always wanted to study abroad as I thought it was a great opportunity for me. What do I do for, a li- for my living? I'm currently studying my master's in filmmaking in UWS, University of West of Scotland. But at the same time, I'm also working as a barista maestro in Costa Coffee. What projects am I working at the moment? Um, I'm currently working on the pre-production of my four films from a master's project. I have just finalised Uh, shooting two films, one of them called Goths and Stuff, which is part of a 48 hour film festival, which we had to produce in 48 hours, and um, Feeding Squirrels, which is a film that I've co-directed and I am going to edit with my friend Andrea Cano. How do I fund my projects? This is a very interesting question as student filmmakers we need to source money from places that like we cannot even describe um we need to ask for favors from other people we also need to ask our families if they could help us out but mainly we use gofundme or indiegogo there are sources where you can just put what the project is about and that's where people will go and donate money for us It's always a good way because you can get a little bit amount of money and with, for example, 500 pounds, you can actually get a film done, which is, which is amazing. I think it's a really good way to learn how to like fund a film in a really small budget and get the best as you can. Um, all these big films 
that are happening at the moment that obviously have millions and millions but it's amazing how we can do it with like less than a thousand pounds one of my main cinematic influences is Edgar Wright and uh, Wes Anderson as I find them really creatively amusing they always find ways to like film films with stories that are unique that with different type of styles the framing work the camera work it's always a story that they tell that is out of the conventional and it always works really well One, can I recommend any new movies or Netflix series to the weekly English project project uh, project listeners? Um, I would say one of the main ones that I am um, helped me get into filmmaking is actually um, a TV sh- a TV show called Hollywood. It's on Netflix and it's by Ryan Murphy and it's about the process of being a filmmaker and how a project goes from the pre-production into the production side and how like the hard work showcases how important um, how important it is to work on your dreams and in what you believe in and at the end the outcome is always the best. Is a Scottish accent easy to understand? I would say yes now. But six years ago, when I first came here, I couldn't understand people at all. I couldn't understand their banter. I couldn't understand the humor. I couldn't understand the catchphrases that they had. But now I feel like I am actually becoming a bit of a Scottish person because I get the humor now. And also, apparently, I have been told that I sound more Scottish every day. I also have a few um, slang words that I use most of the times. What is my favourite Scottish phrases? Uh, my favourite one out of all of them is saying we all the time. Uh, just a wee second. Oh, that's a wee one. That's a wee. That's a wee t-shirt. Like it's, it's such a cute word to use and everyone understands it as well. Are deep fried Mars bars really a thing? Unfortunately, they are. And they are absolutely disgusting. I would not recommend. Um, If you want to go on a night out and have one afterwards, get ready to feel sick for a few days. As a vegan myself, I don't have any, but I have seen a few of my friends eat them and absolutely do not recommend. Scottish independence, yes or no? Absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. Um, Not to get too political, but Scotland is our own country, which has an amazing culture, which has an amazing society as well. And I think Scotland should definitely be independent. Thank you so much for having me this week. And I hope that you like my episode. Filmmaking has been my passion since I was very young. Um, I I have just started realizing that I always liked this kind of industry. And now that I'm in it, um, it's magical. And if you wanna go and be a filmmaker, take a camera, take your iPhone, take um, a microphone and start recording. Just anything that you want. Even if you're a writer, start writing scripts because any story counts. And I hope you have a very, very, very nice week. Now it's time to chat about the article. And remember, you can send your answers to your ACP coach by email or even record them and put them in a WhatsApp message. This time, if you want, you can send your answers to Yolene in Glasgow. Question number one. Have you ever moved to another country to live and work? Would you like to? Question number two. What problems did Yolene have with the Scottish accent at first? What do you think of her accent? Question number three. How does Yolene fund her film projects? Question number four. 
Would you like to try a deep fried Mars bar? Question number five. What movies and series would you recommend? And finally, question number six. Are you following your dreams like Yolene?